Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the crazy family. Ooh, I'm on the table. And if you're already being here, you deserve to be part of the family. That means you already know you're part of the <laughs> family. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm probably like a week and a half late, probably like two weeks. Um, today we're gonna be reviewing uh, reviewing the new Morphe foundation. I finally went to the store and went and grabbed some foundation and some concealers. The concealers were $8 or $9 and the foundations were 18. That's not bad for foundation or concealer. That's kind of like low key drugstore prices nowadays. The drugstore makeup be hell expensive. I'd be like, damn, but this is for Anyway, so I grabbed also two powders, two foundations and two concealers. I just kind of wanted to try and tell you guys my opinion. I have seen like four reviews on it and it was kind of like a half and half. Some people loved it and some people hate it. What I heard so far that it's a super matte foundation. Like it's like matte, matte, matte. <laughs> matte, matte, matte. <laughs> like I was like, damn, when I swatched it in the store, I was like, damn, that's hella matte. But it is, it is full coverage. Um, let me tell you what it says here. So the foundation is fluid. I don't know how to, fluidity? Fluidity? I don't know how to say that. So it's a full coverage foundation, 24 hours long, wear sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, freed off oil, fragrance, and parabens. Great for all skin types. And yeah, that's what it gets me here. They came out with like hella shades. Hella shades. Hella shades. That I was overwhelmed when I went to the store. I was like, where do I start? <laughs> I was a little confused and also like a lot of concealers and the powders so i'm excited to give it a try like i said some people love this some people didn't like it at all i did hear that you're supposed to moisturize your skin really really good before you even give it a try i'm not gonna use my matte things that what i use normally when i do my makeup so we're gonna keep it very you know naturalmente i already moisturized my skin is that a booger on my nose <sighs> yeah um well, i don't know what it was probably yeah it was a booger um i already moisturized my skin um now i'm gonna go ahead and prime i'm using the natural radiance primer because this one is more natural it's not as like oh a primer that blurs and all that i don't want none of that because like they said the foundation is matte and if you apply that crazy stuff it's gonna be too much so Mm -mm -mm. right so we good i'm gonna go ahead and correct because all my foundations that i use i correct i don't feel like it's fair if i give the foundation a try without correcting because that's just my natural routine so using the usual matte corrector all right so we are opening out with the corrector so the girl who helped me find the foundations because you guys i was overwhelmed when i walked in there i was like there's so many foundations but that's a good problem to have you know normally you go in there's like four or five you know 10 foundations and you're like oh it doesn't match me it doesn't even go down my situation so let me just walk away this one it was a very it, it was a good overwhelming because there was foundation for everybody so i do appreciate that i think they come out with like 60 or 70 or something like that but they come out with a lot and the two colors that we went for was the 410 and the 311 um they look very different from each other but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand for you guys to see first one we're gonna go with is with the 410 i'm gonna go ahead and swatch that okay i should have thought of that i'm gonna go ahead and swatch that here you guys when i tell you this is like thick it's thick so this is 410 and i feel like i'm gonna be leaning more of that one and it looks crazy on the box like this is not a color so don't go by what the box look like but as a 410 is more of a neutral, you know, all of these situations. So I'm, I think that, I think that. And then I'm going to grab the three, what is it? 311. Let's watch the notes. What I read. And the 311 is a little more, more lighter i could mix both of them and get my color though i i think that i will be fine but i think the four four ten will be it if anything i'll go ahead and mix the other one but yeah this is the two colors that i went for and i i'm i'm in between there i'm in between there the one we're gonna go is with the four four point ten 
And I'm gonna blend that one with the booty. And we're gonna see. I feel like this is it. Hmm, okay. It does look a little green on my mirror though. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it gives you like the greenish. Is it too light for me? It looks good. It's going on, it looks really, really good. It has that like plasticky smell. I don't like that. I don't like the smell. Oh my gosh, no. But we should see, we're gonna see, baby. Hmm. How do you feel? Hmm. How do we feel? It looks a little like white cast. Is it just me? Did I get a wrong color? I, see, my color is so weird. Okay, I'm gonna grab a uh, 310 in the other side and see what could happen in there. I feel like this one is gonna be too light. You see, like that one? Wait, hold on. This one is more of a... I don't know. What do we look a little like to me? This one looks gray cast, and this one looks like it. This one looks more like my color. Now that it's oxidizing, it's starting to blend in. So I'm gonna go in with the four. 410 is the winner. Yeah, no matter about it. Let's see. Let's go for it. And I'm just gonna go on top of this side over here and long fill it in but it goes on really really good i don't like the smell I'm not a fan of that it smells very um gasolina gasoline gas like well what has going on the skin it feels good and they said that it's for all skin types so yeah it is very bad though i do feel it on the skin like super super matte um so if you have dry skin i do not recommend this because it's gonna dry you more i recommend more of a dewy finish for those who have dry skin that went on really really pretty wow this is how it looks like so far It feels really good in the skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all, but I don't know. There's like a weird feeling of like when you put on a foundation, you'd be like in two hours, it's going to be kind of like a situation. So we're just going to see. We're just going to see um, how it looks when I finish everything. I am not going to be doing a work test because... It's really late right now. It's like 10, about to be 11. I was running a lot of errands today, but I don't want to get this video done for you guys today. But after I wear it today, I am going to wear it another time to tell you guys like how I wear and how everything. But today is just trying it on in my first impression on the foundation. So that's what we're going to go for. And so far, I'm not mad about it. It looks really, really good. It matched me good. And yeah, let's move on to concealers now. I'm going to be grabbing again uh the packaging don't get the see by the packaging the packagings are completely different i feel like one thing is is because it's warm and these ones are supposed to be cool i think that's what it means because that's not the color of the foundations or the concealers so i'm gonna go with the warm one first you guys know that i have to correct wait a minute see uh oh shit okay okay <laughs> I was a little scared. I was like, wait a minute, is it too light? They look so light in the tube, but they're not, you know? Ugh. So the one I'm gonna go with the C4. 
is that cool i'm confused i'm confused why is this c and c before and then the powders have did they have c on them too no i'm gonna go on the first concealer 4.15 okay i like the one i like how flexible it is i love that and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this Oh, I love this one. And this one, I like it. So this is the one to conceal. That's what we're going with. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out. Let me grab my closer mirror. Some of you guys told me to take the plastic. Some of you guys were telling me, can you take the thing? I can't. <laughs> because if I take it off, it's gonna be all crazy. So just deal with the little the stickers, okay? Okay. That blend out really cute. Like, okay, Murphy. I have never blended a concealer that easy. Wow. Wow. Listen, como que like, I like it, I think. <laughs> I have never blended out a concealer this easy. Wow, okay, all right. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I just, I want this to last on my skin. That's the only thing I'm asking for. Marfi, you, if you could give me flawless all day, you got me. And for $18 and this concealer is only eight or $9, Okay. All right. So then I'm gonna go with the lighter concealer. I know because I like highlighting a lot. I highlight for my life. This is a highlight. Okay. Oh shit. I don't think I'm gonna use too much of this. Let me do the nose. Again, right here. Yeah. Oh, this is a little too light for me. This is taking it like really, really back to school. But I'm gonna go with it. And I'm gonna tone it down with the powder when I set it. So I just care. Okay, we can make it work. Ooh, this is kind of cute. Okay. She's cute. My face does feel really, really dry though. Like, hella dry so we're gonna see i'm gonna go ahead and set it i don't ooh, it's getting into my laugh lines that's too fast okay hold on let me stop talking so much i'm gonna grab kafuna this is uh you guys already know so this is huda uh, my setting powder and i'm gonna go ahead and just set underneath i'm not let me even out the powder i'm not cooking i'm just setting so nothing moves So, so far, I like it. One thing I do have to say, if you have dry skin, don't use this foundation. No, 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 no. I don't have dry skin, I have combination. And the way that I feel dry right now is no joke. Zero joke right now. I was gonna go on top with another powder. And I'm not even doing that because this is like a lot. <laughs> I'm a little shook shook. It blended out beautifully. I have never had a concealer blend out this easy. Never, 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 never. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with their spray right quick because my face feels... <clears throat> I just burp. Okay, the powders look too light. Um, I'm gonna use one to contour. That's what I'm gonna use it for. This is number 11. I'm just gonna see how... Ooh, that glide nice. Oh. I love how this looks on the skin, but I'm scared that in a couple hours, I'm gonna look like Freddy Krueger. Like, you know? Like, sis, you dry. I don't wanna feel like that. This powder, though, I'm loving the powder. This is great. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this right quick. It smells good. Mmm. And we're just gonna see how it looks 
after a set. <laughs> All right, we have one to try. We're back. I try not to talk in too much because I didn't want the foundation moving so much. Um, it definitely feels like I have something on my face right now. Well, I, I, I do have something on my face, but like heavier than usual, like how my makeup looks three, four hours later after I put on my foundation. That's how it feels right now. Um, we don't have to see like how it looks. Yeah, look at that hair. My skin is not dry like that. <gasps> how it cracks. No, 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 no. All right, so I'm gonna finish the rest of the face and then I'm gonna be right back to see how I hold up to everything. All right, Mijente, so we are back um, with a full face. I even put a liquid liner. Who am I these days? Who am I? I don't even know. Anyways, um, to tell you guys the truth, I don't know how I feel with this foundation. When I was applying the foundation, it felt a little like, uh. And then when it was started going on, I was like, ooh, I like you, like you cute. It matched me perfectly. This is literally my perfect color. So they did nail the color. You guys know I always like, you know, whatever the color. Um, but the color is good, how it went on. It was nice. When I was blending the concealer, I was like, wow, I have never seen anything blend so beautifully. And then afterwards, I seen it just kind of getting in there. And if you have a lot of texture in your face, this is gonna be a no-no for you. So this is a little too much. I don't even have this much texture in my face and it kinda enhance it. Um, one of the things that I don't like about my face is my love lines. Like I wanna go get those done as soon as possible, but I haven't had time. But I wanna get those uh, filled in. And look how it's enhancing them. It hasn't even been an hour. You imagine this foundation on maybe three, four, five, six hours. Uh, my under eye is creasing like crazy. You can't see it that much because I did put a mascara and um, eyeshadow there to kind of like put it away. <sighs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. The, the color was perfect. How it went on, the texture, nice. But it just how this is gonna wear out during the day. Como que like I don't know. I want to get a little closer. You guys could see what like what I see. Look at the texture. Look at the nose. I don't know if it's like catching the nose there. Like if you have, no, you see the, and me that I make so much like face expression, this is gonna be like mucho. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it guys. It went on really, really nice, but other than that, no, oh, look at my love lines. Come on, can that? This is how normally how makeup looks after five hours it's not even been an hour so i'm gonna have to give it like a second try to tell you guys how i feel about it to tell you the truth right now i'm kind of like iffy about it i can't tell you yes or no so yeah it's hella dry but the color is perfect yeah this is the first time that i'm like iffy um anyways guys thank you so much for watching sorry that i couldn't give you guys like a really like boom 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 i just don't know i don't know you comment below and you decide and then if you want me to give you a little rundown on Instagram, give it a little like a whole day situation, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. But yeah, we're like, oh, iffy about it. I know you guys are gonna ask me what lip I have on. It's my lip palette with, um, what lip gloss I put on? With a uh, Line Crime Sparkling Cherry. I love these lip glosses. Just on top and cork lip liner, of course. And then the liner that I have going on is Fenty. This one right here. It was so easy to apply that I was like, wow, it was a lot, a lot though. So you have to be very quickly, quickly with that. These ones are Morphe lashes. I love them. These ones are called Smooshy. Smooshy is really, really pretty. My shadow is uh, Sub Glam Anastasia. But yeah, guys, this is it. This is my review. I kind of feel like it sucks because I kind of didn't, you know, I leave it up to you guys. You guys comment below and let me know how you guys feel about this. And yeah, and if you have it, what do you guys think of it? Like, how do you feel about it? I wanna talk to you guys about it. Let, let's talk. Comment below. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao, besitos.